Nice having you again, my friends, here on Will Edutech. Now, in the solution to question 11c, here they have stated that the matrix Q is such that Q is equal to 4, 2, 1, 1. And we're asked to find the inverse of Q. Now, this is pretty easy when finding the inverse of a matrix. Let's just write the matrix Q. We have a 4, 2, a 4, 2, a 1, 1. Now, what is happening here, my friends? Uh, these, the 4 and the 1 here in this order, if you notice, I have a diagonal line. Now, these two values in a matrix, in a 2 by 2 matrix, they are called the leading diagonals, okay? And these two values, the 1 and the 2, these are called the non-leading diagonals, okay? So, let's just make a quick note of that. So, for, for the two first values here, we call these 4 and the 1 in this order. These are the leading, leading diagonals, okay? Leading. And for these two now, we are, these two are called the non-leading diagonals. Non-leading, leading diagonals. Now, quickly, when asked to make, when asked to find the inverse of a matrix, all right, first we have to find the determinant. So let's find the determinant and the determinant of Q, since this is the matrix Q, let's, the determinant, we can use this notation, okay, it's like the Q with two bars on either side, okay, so what we're saying is the determinant of Q, and we are simply taking the leading, the product of the leading diagonal, so I'm just going to multiply the 4 by the 1, so I'm saying 4 times 1. Quickly, let's just get that out of the way. 4 times 1. And, and I'm going to subtract the product of the non-leading. So I'm just simply multiplying 2 times 1. 2 times 1. Okay? Now, this is equal to 4 1s will give us a 4. Uh, and I have a negative sign there. Okay? So a negative 2 times and a positive 1 will give us a negative 2, obviously. So, or determinant of the matrix Q is 4 minus 2, which is 2. And that's our answer, okay, for the determinant. Now, the next thing that we'll have to do is to find the adjoint, okay? So here we are going to simply find the adjoint of the matrix Q. So adjoint would be, the adjoint of Q, of Q, would really be and when finding the adjoint of a matrix, this is pretty easy. All you're doing, you're flipping around the leading diagonals. So the 4 and the 1, they're basically going to switch places. So instead of having the 4 here, if you notice, I've placed the 1 there. And the 4 will go in the position of the 1. And I'm simply just going to change the sign on the non-leading diagonal. So instead of having a positive 2, I'll have a negative 2. And instead of having a positive 1, I'll have a negative 1. Okay, so that's the adjoint of the matrix Q. Now, basically, to find the inverse now, what you're going to simply, what you're going to be doing simply to find the inverse. So let's make a note here, my friends. So Q inverse, Q inverse is really I'm going to take my determinant and I'm going to place one above it. Okay, so I just simply took my determinant, place one above it, and I'm going to multiply that by the adjoint. So the adjoint we had here, or adjoint we had one, one, negative two, negative one, four. Okay? So that's the inverse of Q. So this is our answer, my friends. Okay, that's what they ask. It. They were asking us to find. So it's pretty much that easy. Hope this was useful. And see you in the next video where we'll be using the inverse of Q to solve a simultaneous equation. All right. Bye bye.